Greetings. My name is Darren B. Side Young. I am the Director of Business Development for DOS Audio of America. I'm here at our sunny South Florida headquarters to let you know about the Vantech series. For those who don't know, DOS Audio was founded in 1971 in Valencia, Spain, and we're proudly family owned and operated since then. Today, we're gonna to show you what's cool and exciting about the Vantech series. We're gonna go over the powered models primarily, but keep in mind, Vantech is active and passive in the majority of the series. We've got five models that are both active and passive. We have two active only models, which are the Vantech 20 and the Vantech 118A. But out of the rest of the series, we incorporate two-way systems of either 12, 15 inch, a dual 15 inch, as well as three different sub options. The self-powered systems incorporate digital FIR filters in our signal processing, so users can select sound settings from filters, EQ modes, gain control, all via the DOS control interface. The Vantech series also allows you to stream music wirelessly from any mobile device, tablet, phone, or even computer. And you can actually simultaneously control your audio settings as well as stream audio if you would like to use the DOS Link app on your tablet or phone. So let's see what we've got in store for the Vantech series. The system is very reliable and very robust and designed to work for any environment such as a live band, a DJ, or other fixed installations like churches, theaters, houses of worship, and etc. It's proudly made in Spain like 98% of our catalog in-house with the same designers from our high-end Aero series all the way to our Altea series. You're gonna get the same voicing and quality that you expect in a DOS audio product. We use only birch plywood with an isoflex phoenix. The entire series is using what's called FSC, which stands for the Forest Stewardship Council. It's a certification that lets you know we're responsibly resourcing all of our wood materials so that nothing goes to waste to harm the environment. One of the things we're best known for is some of the most efficient products on the market. The Vantech series has the lowest energy consumption of its class. The average speaker uses only about 2.5 to 3 amps, and when you're in standby mode, which is an optional feature on all of the Vantech DOS control products, you have the ability to shut off the amp completely. The amp will auto-engage the minute a signal is present. We have less than a 1% failure rate out of more than 5,000 units sold. That's because we're using a 10-step QC process that gives you the highest quality of product with the most reliably resourced goods that you can depend on. It's plug and play and ready to go as we use PowerCon professional power cables on all of the Vantech series. This allows you to jump from a sub to a top, or in the case of a Vantech 20, you can daisy chain power connections between multiple cabinets. It's available in black or white. So if you wanted to have discrete or perhaps some invisibility of a white product on a white background, you can achieve that. All of the Vantech series can be special ordered in white. We do stock black and white in our warehouse in Miami, Florida of the Vantech 20A and the Vantech 118A. All of the Vantech full range cabinets feature our DOS control. This is our LCD interface with an encoder to allow you full access of the DSP and options. You have the ability to adjust the presets, the high pass filters, or even the delays and so much more. For example, on our full range cabinet, the 12, the 15, or the double 15, your five presets include live, dance, vocal, bass boost, and monitor. Keep in mind, bass boost is a unique feature to the Vantech series or to DOS Audio in that we're only boosting low frequencies, which is why it's B boost instead of just a normal boost. In your typical cabinet, you'd find that boost is boosting the lows and the high frequencies, whereas bass boost 
specifically boost around 80 hertz. You have a high pass filter variable switch between 63, 100, or the compatible V18A, which you can use for the 118A sub or the single 18A or even our dual 18 inch. You have a LPF and HPF crossover control on the subs that allow you to use either a through setting or HPF, where you can actually use the crossover built into the sub to filter out the frequencies for the top speaker. When the cabinet has to be used in very silent environments, you can use the expander. The expander acts as a noise gate, but with a more progressive behavior. By default, this option is not engaged, but it is very useful if you're in a corporate environment. You have the ability to delay the cabinets up to 9.9 .9 meters. That's about 30 feet. This is on the Vantec 12A, the 15A, and the 215A. We use FIR filters. Now, fur filters improve the box frequency response because with that filter, it allows us to have all of the frequencies in a more controlled environment, improving the intelligibility or the clarity of the sound. Basically, it aligns the frequencies so that everything is smooth and even to your ears. We also have a dual angle capability on the 12 and the single 15, which you can adjust from either a zero or a minus 10 angle. Now, when you get to the Vantec 20 cabinet, the DOS control features are gonna be a little bit different. Because it is a fixed curve array and not a standard point source speaker, we have some additional features to help adjust from low frequency coupling and throws. So on the Vantec 20A only, you'll find five throw settings. That's gonna be your long, mid-long, mid, mid-short, mid or short settings. Also on the Vantec 20A only, it's gonna be the number of unit setting. The number of units is exactly that. You just count the number of units you have connected together and you set your DSP controls to match the same. In other words, if you have three cabinets, all three cabinets in that array or hang should be adjusted to 3U. What this does is it offsets the low frequency coupling that usually takes place when you have an array. In other words, the more speakers you have in an array, the more energy you're gonna get and lower frequencies. To offset that and make everything even in balance, you're gonna use the number of units setting on here. Now, if you wanted to connect your Vantec 20A, 15A, 12A, or even the 215A, you can do that wirelessly with or without the app. If you wanted to have control of your audio settings as well as wireless streaming, you would use the DOS Link app. This is a free app that's available on Android or iOS devices. Make sure you check your iTunes or Apple Store or your Google Play Store. DOS Link will let you control one or two speakers simultaneously, allowing you to stream audio and or control. If you needed to control more than that, you have the DOS Link Group Manager. The Dosslink Group Manager is designed for large zones or clusters of speakers that you only gonna have control over. No audio streaming is gonna be involved if you're using the Dosslink Group Manager. For more on that, make sure you check the video that we have for wireless audio and wireless control settings. Some of the hardware available for the Vantec 20A in particular is gonna be your rigging bumper that allows you to hold either the sub and or the tops. The beauty of the AX VT20 is that one bumper will allow you to hang two subs and three tops from one hang point. If you're in a production environment and you need to transport your goods, we have what's called the PLs. These are the pallet cards or paletes. You can use them to transport the Vantec 20A tops or the VT118AS to transport the subs. We also have a host of poles, adapters, and even ANL2 i bolt suspension kits if you wanted to hang individual cabinets. All of the Vantec series does come compatible with M10 rigging i bolt points on all of the cabinets, including our single sub and even our single 
18A has a rigging hardware that makes it compatible with the Vantec 20A as well. If you were gonna have a configuration of just two tops, you can easily connect them with XLR or analog cable. And if you were going to have a much larger system, you can actually connect from the subs to the tops using the crossovers in the subs if you did not have an external DSP. If you have the ability to use a DSP, which is always recommended, you will connect to your processor first and then connect to either the appropriate group or cluster of speakers, subs left and right perhaps, or tops left and right as an example. So this is a great setup if you're a band or a DJ or you're gonna do a corporate environment where you want a good even and match control, you can take one Vantec 20A and put it on a short pole above the Vantec 218A, which is ideal for bands. If you were going to fly the system, whether it be a touring and production of a live event or you were going to have it as a permanent install, you can hang the Vantec 118A and then the Vantec 20 cabinets underneath. Make sure you check us out, find out more. We're DOS Audio on all of the social medias and DOS Audio USA for Facebook and Instagram.